Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm working on an unusual piece of equipment. It is a um, it is a supportive treadmill. It's the only way I can really describe it. It's for physical therapy and it supports the body's weight to a certain percentage and allows you to slowly adapt and add your own body weight while you exercise. Very interesting. So it's called an Alter G. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this Alter G here, it has an inflatable bladder around the periphery, and then there is a set of shorts that the user has to put on, and the deck is adjusted to their height, just above hip height, and on this particular model, there's a grab handle right here. You grab it and it raises or lowers to the person's height. You see, there's the shorts over there, a selection of them. So, they put on the shorts, they get in, they zip up, and when they're zipped up, then all they gotta do is um, cross your arms, because it has a scale inside the treadmill, so it's gonna measure the body weight, and you fold your arms so you're not touching this, and then it measures your body weight, and then it will inflate the bladder, and it inflates until you're 50% body weight. So if you're 200 pounds, it's gonna inflate till the scale underneath measures 100 pounds. And then when that's done, uh, then it will be ready for whatever physical therapy you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this beast works. So this has a 220 volt blower, and it, this particular model has only got one computer. On other ones I've seen it's got the controller and it'll have a computer separately so that's interesting maybe the computer is up in the, the head unit like an all-in-one PC but uh, this here looks very familiar so uh, this controller here as soon as you click on mains it's 220 volts in this guy boots up when it boots up this guy right here will find its home position so it goes all the way open and it hits a stop and then it goes down to a certain percentage which I estimate to be between 20 and 30 percent closed. So this here is a uh, regulated exhaust type of pressure monitoring system. So the blower blows in at 100 percent and it just regulates how much exhaust ventilates to the room and by doing so with this little stepper right here it can control the pressure. So some of the things that I've noticed, these, these are really reliable treadmills, except for the fact that these little ports, like right here, this guy tends to come loose. Right here is the pressure monitoring port. It's a rigid tube that gets crimped down inside this. This guy does come loose, and this guy will booger off, and it'll be at atmospheric pressure, and nothing knows what's going on. You can see right here, pressure line goes in to this box where your pressure monitoring board is located. So uh, the blower, it is turned on by that box over there. Um, the treadmill itself is actually powered by the box over here. You can see its wire right there. So the treadmill is powered, uh, communications and everything, they all go through that box over there. Really unique system. I doubt you guys will ever really see one again. Um, but if you do, they're really not that difficult to figure out what's going on. You know that when you get over here on the main screen, there is a spot up here in the corner. And you tap it a couple times, and then you put in the secret code. And then it will go into a setup screen where you can go ahead and set it up to however you like. And I can come in here to service. And one of the cool things is I can set pressure diagnostics, right? So it's asking for a bag to be zipped up here to close this off because it has to be closed off in order for it to measure pressure. And all I did is I took a small set of shorts. You see this, I took a small set of shorts and I uh, zip tied them. And if I was really good, I'd have a manometer in here, okay? So um, I'm going to just go ahead and hit OK. You're going to see that it says turn blower on, and right down here is a scale. Now when I got this guy up to about 
hundred and some millimeters of mercury, that was pretty intimidating. Uh, it apparently wants you to go a wee bit higher and I really don't want to press it much higher. So let's go ahead and turn the blower on. So you see how it's got this rigid platform right here? That's actually a step and it's a safety step so that the user can step to get inside it. Okay, looks like it's inflated. We're only inflated to six millimeters of mercury. So let's go ahead and take this guy up a little bit. There we go. You can see, it comes quite taut. So normally this would be the user and their legs would dangle down on the treadmill. And based on the pressure, that's how much, you know, it lifts the body off the treadmill. So 110, that's pretty good. Good enough for a demo. So right here, right here's the baffle. Now I'm going to give the, the knee right here and watch, watch the baffle. I'm gonna overpressure the system. Okay. So what I was doing is I was overpressuring and it opens up the butterfly valve and it then it closes immediately so I can take a quick measurement and it, that's how it does it. It goes open, close, and then it floats and then you overpressure it again, it goes open, close, and then it measures. So pretty neat system, pretty easy. You can see right now the baffle is 20 to 30 percent open that allows me to deflate the bladder down here and once it's uh, deflated uh, then we can adjust the height again and uh, take it back so that it can be ready for a patient.